I'm convinced that I run faster in these rather than my Vaporflies, which is controversial, but I'm gonna run the Western Supermare Half Marathon more than likely in those Adidas Takumi Sen 8s. Now what I'm gonna to do today, because it's just over, just under, it's about a week and a half away, I'm gonna do a hard half marathon training session today. So I'm gonna talk you through it because it's quite complex. And if truth be told, I can't remember what I've actually programmed to run. So here we go. I'm gonna run five minutes easy. Then I'm gonna do two lots of 400 meters at 10K, three minute recovery, 400 meters at 5K race pace, three minutes recovery. Then we're gonna do eight times 1K at half marathon pace. Now that is taken from my Warwick half marathon in February and the average pace was 4.45. So that is what I'm saying is my half marathon pace. Hopefully I'll go a second or two quicker than that on the day. Uh, so I'm gonna run eight, eight lots of uh, a K at that pace. Um, and then we are gonna go into one kilometer recovery, which is an easy recovery. Then I'm gonna go to one kilometer at 10K pace. And then we're gonna have a three minute recovery. And then we're gonna have two lots <laughs> of three minutes at 5k pace, three minutes recovery, times two, then a minute recovery. So there you go. This one's going to be quite a complex one. This is an 18k run. It's going to be quite intensive. I don't think it's going to be impossible, but I think it's going to be difficult. So this is really going to challenge me. I finally, I think, managed to shake the marathon out of my legs. My legs actually feel quite good. Uh, so I think I'm ready for this. Um, I've got actually a half marathon coming up on Sunday, which I'll be running easy, which is the Birmingham half. But my goal half, the one I really want to get a PB on, is the Western Supermare half. So let's get these Takumis on. Let's get these, let's get these Takumi Senates on. And let's hit the streets of Worcester and let's see what we can do today. I'm not interested about training to heart rate. All I'm interested in at the moment is training to pace because I want to try and get myself that PB. So I need to know how my body feels at different paces. Now, the reason why I am using different paces in this training run, well, is obvious really. I want to know how it feels to run fast on tired legs. Hopefully, I'll have enough in the, in the tank for a sprint finish on the pier at Western. So, yeah, going through the 5, 10k uh, paces right down to the easy pace. It's pretty much the complete umbrella of my paces today in one run. I'm doing quite a lot at half marathon pace. Not so much at easy, very little at 5k and a little bit at 10k pace. As I said, this won't be easy. But I think it will be a good session and if I can make it through, if I can nail this session, it's going to give me a bit of confidence, you know. This is where it starts to get a bit spicy. First 400 at 10k pace. My pace is by the way, and I'm trying to hit the base of my PBs. 5k pace between 4 and 4 minutes 10. Per kilometer, 10K, between 4.25 and 4.35. Half marathon, approximately 4.45. Easy pace, six minutes per K. Off to a good start, I wasn't concentrating. So, I think I missed that first rep, that first 400. So right, head in the game, come on Andy. This is about 90% effort for me. Oh, it's spicy! Okay, 
two more of them and then we're into the half marathon paces oh, that's working me up okay 5k rep up a hill terribly timed no excuses let's get on with it First bit done. Now I've got to recover, and then it's the half marathon pace. Quick Barrow Hill, man. It's like that one at Ultrium, but longer and harder. the end of the eight kilometers now I'm taking walking recovery oh I need this wow this has absolutely spanked me today spanked me oh I knew this I knew this workout would be a gamble because I wanted it to be hard I wanted it to be a vo2 max session so I've got my, my heart rate up high early and then I've just run the 8k at marathon pace, half marathon pace and I felt quite difficult but I wanted that difficulty I must be a sucker for punishment uh, so now I'm running this K easy and I've got that K at 10k pace and then we're hitting those 400s and I'll be honest I'm a bit worried about them but we'll see what happens been going for an hour now as much as I'm moaning I'm feeling I'm feeling strong this workout hasn't broken me yet okay 10k pace time here we go let's see if, let's see if we can do it pick up that pace Thirty-two, so good, good, sir, uh, but good kilometer there. Now we're into the spicy intervals to finish. Two lots of five k and ten k. I was going to run these recoveries, but I don't want to die today. I want to live. <laughs> anyway, we're getting it done slowly but surely. get near that spicy 400 5k pace feels a world away from 10k and half marathon pace now wow yeah that was tough anyway only one more of them to go okay okay Finishing with a 428 400 meter rep. I'm happy with that. We recover for three minutes and there's some easy running and then we're done. This is a bit more my pace, 10 and a half minute miles. Oh, this feels lovely. coming to the end of a quite a solid workout really I mean that was not <laughs> that was not easy you know the old me would have bailed you know a couple of k's into you know that half marathon pace block I, I did have those thoughts recurring around my head you know just just knock it on the head just you know throw the towel in it was hard 
especially up some of those hilly bits. Right, workout has ended. We are done. So yeah, I mean, just to summarize, I'm well aware that yes, I started hard, um, but that's what I wanted. And you know, the way I've negotiated with myself is nothing too hard too soon. I did, you know, four lots of hard 400s with recoveries. So it wasn't that hard, but it was hard. So that might, that might have been a reason why you know, the block of the 8K did feel quite difficult because my heart rate obviously had gotten up to, uh, well, I haven't looked at my, my data yet, but I imagine it did get up quite high. However, I'm not even wearing a strap today, so I don't think my uh, heart rate could be taken as gospel today, but I was very much running to feel in places. I, I kind of feel, especially when I'm on the flat, I know how goal half marathon pace felt, especially after running five or six, seven consecutive Ks. I can just feel the cadence and I know the pace and you know the effort. And um, so yeah, the, that, that felt quite nice to just sort of run to feel for a while. And you've always got the backup of your watch telling you you're either too slow or too fast. I didn't hit every pace, but well, that's okay. You know, you don't have to nail every training session ever because you're not gonna nail every race ever. That's just not the way it goes. But I'd much rather try a hard session and fail and keep nailing easy sessions because I really do want to test myself. And I said earlier, didn't I, that I feel like I've shook the marathon out of my legs. I haven't. I am still carrying some heavy marathon fatigue, whether I like it or not. It's only been two weeks, two and a half weeks. And it's May, it's getting warmer. Here come the excuses. You can hear myself saying them. I hate it, but it is, I've just got to adapt. You can't really make excuses, you've got to adapt to these things so I can't change the date of this half marathon <laughs> you know I can't make it whenever I want it when I'm feeling fresh I've just got to get on with it um, but that's in a week and a half hopefully after another session or two and some easy runs in between my legs will feel good Western is a hard course it is a hard course there's trail there's hills there's hard sand uh, it's twisty it's turny it could be hot, it's May. You know, it's not an easy course to PB on, but I'm really gonna try and do it because I love the course, I loved it last year. And if it's the same course as last year, which I think it will be, I think it will, it will be a really good day out. And I'd much rather attempt a PB at a course that I really enjoy running on because, well, why else would I do it if I don't enjoy it? So hopefully, that little enjoyment factor will help on race day. So I'm going to call it a day here. One hour 35, uh, which was a good session. Good, good session banked. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you on the next one. Take it easy wherever you are in the world. Ta-da.